Welcome to Tub and Drinks. Uh, today we'll be trying out the Pukeko Porter. Um, we made that two weeks ago when we finished bottling. Um, overall time, I think it's been about a month uh, or so since we actually made it. Um, made this using the Mangrove Jacks Craft Series box. This will be my first time trying out this box. Um, this is only my second brew overall, as many of you know, but you know, this was a little bit of a step up from the um, standard just rip open a pouch and throw it in with some water. So we'll see how it goes. Um, with this guy, it actually came with some hops. Um, so you actually threw those in as tasting hops about five days into the process, I believe. Um, I think I put it up on the blog, but we shall see. Um, if not, then I'll just put a little notation in someplace over here or something. Um, I'm going to be making a couple labels for these for the few people that will be lucky enough, unlucky enough, to try it. Um, not sure how many people that will be. I don't know many people here in New Zealand, so my wife will, of course, try it. Um, Bruce, lucky dog, you get to try it. I promised you I'd let you try it no matter what. Um, my cannon fodder didn't turn out quite as good as I had hoped, so you didn't get an opportunity to try that. Um, but this one, I promised you that I would let you try it. So there you go. You'll be able to try it, you lucky or unlucky dog you. We'll see. Um, so just a couple small things before we get started. Uh, first and foremost, I wanted to send my condolences to the Stone Brewing family. Um, this Saturday, they had one of their brewers uh, was running a fork, forklift, fork truck, however you want to pronounce that. And uh, apparently it rolled over on him and pinned him and killed him. So that's quite tragic. And I wanted to send my sincere condolences for that. Um, Stone, you know, one of my favorite breweries. Anybody that knows me knows that. I preach Stone constantly. You know, they were the first brewery I ever had and uh, still my favorite. So um, just want to send my condolences to the family. Um, All right, so let's get on with the tasting. I haven't had this. Um, one of the other differences between this one and my last one is I used the carbonation drops this time um, instead of using the DME, mixing it in during bottling. Um, bottled this two weeks ago today, so this will be my first time trying it, and uh, let's see if we can get a little bit of a... Oh yeah, bit of one, bit of carbonation, so let's see what this looks like. Looks pretty good. So what kind of how do we get on there? Not too bad. It smells pretty good. It smells like a porter. A little bit of a coffee nose. A bit of like a dark chocolate nib maybe. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely got quite a bit of coffee flavor in it. Um, yeah, that's got a quite quite a heavy coffee flavor, which isn't a bad thing. Um, I quite like that. One of the characteristics of a lot of porters is having a bit of that coffee note, and this has quite a bit of that coffee note. That's actually quite good. Um, I like it. That's a bit more representative of the style than my first beer was. <laughs> I was a little bit more careful with this one, so uh, I'm not surprised there. Um, again, this will be called the Pukeko Porter. Can't see through it at all. Looks close to a stout. Um, not necessarily a bad thing. They're both in the same family of beers. Um, both of them age pretty well. Stouts tend to age a little bit better than porters. Um, and depending upon your definition, the only difference between a stout and a porter is the alcohol by volume. Um, this, I believe, came out around 5% ABV. Um, I think, and I will look this up and correct myself over here somewhere, um, but I believe anything over about 7% is considered a stout. Could be completely wrong there. If I am, please let me know, but as far as my understanding, that's that. Um, I'll have to go back through and 
check out the stone brew yield that they did on the live stream and uh, see what that tells me. So this, uh, I think that's pretty good. There's not too much sweetness. That was one of my worries. Um, my um, bitter came out pretty sweet, which I didn't care for. Um, but this tastes pretty darn good. I quite like that. So cheers to Mangrove Jacks with their Craft Series Brewery Box. They call this the Night Watchman Porter. I brewed it. I'm naming it this Pukeko Porter. Uh, for those of you that don't know what a Pukeko is, it's a native bird to New Zealand. It's a swamp hen. Pretty cool little guys. They got huge feet. Uh, so yeah, so cheers. And I uh, just wanted to raise my glass also to the, um, the brewer at Stone that ended up passing away. That's quite a shame. So cheers to you, sir. And uh, thank you for all the work you did.